See? Oh. You can, what? I want to take the dark glasses off to help. Well, I can see with the glasses. I'm recording now. Okay. I've done all my pre-missions uh, back at the shop. We're at the Glenhaven Dive Center right now. We're getting this model ready for uh, our first uh, actually open water operation. Whoa, watch out the lights tilt. No, watch out, there you go. All the way down. Sir, may I take your um your oh. sweater and hang it up there? So oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, man. All the things go there. I don't want to get wet. Appreciate that. Thank you. So, um, we've already got things turned on. And uh, I'm just going to work on the rudder. It tells me we're alive. And put this thing in water. So we watch the bow planes, the magnetic coupler is already made up. Things snap together and get good order. Putting a periscope on, but that's only for reference. Doesn't do any any other good at all, other than being a visual cue. All right, so I'm taking the transmitter, wiggling the rudder, wiggling the stern planes, pump jet, and then over at the bow planes. Good. So, right here. Without much ceremony, as you can see, cool clarity is pretty good. So we're going to run around on the surface now. We have more ballast tank than we need. As a consequence, reserve buoyancy is putting the water line higher than scale. So I'm venting the tank a little bit. Good. That gets the pump jet underwater and gets us to the design water line. So I'm going to do a couple of maneuvers on the surface. As you can see, the majority of the upper rudder is in the air where it does us no good at all. As a consequence, our turning radius is off, right? so it compels me to do these Y turns. Shift my rudder, going ahead, and back off on the throttle so I stop sucking air, which is a big problem with the, uh, with the pump jet. Well, this thing hardly turns at all, it's awful. So, I'm going to go ahead and abandon the uh, running on the surface because you can see the turning radius. I I'll probably won't even be able to negotiate the, the pool like this. I got to get that other rudder under the water. So, I'm going to do a bit of a Y turn here, backing down, shifting my rudder. Shift the rudder ahead. Okay, good. Now, while it's coming at us, I've opened the vent on the ballast tank, and the model will assume uh, submerged trim. Full dive on the bow planes. Full rise on the bow planes, trying to get the pump jet under. Okay, we're under. You can see it's turning a little bit better, but not much. So I'm going to kill my headway, and this is where we check our trim. 
<coughs> it's heavy in the ass, I can see that. So I'll be putting a little bit of foam in the stern. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, surface the boat. What I'm doing is I'm blowing air initially from the dry spaces in the subdriver. And now that the sails broach the surface, the air is coming from the snorkel. I'm continuing the blow until we're back up to uh, design one. And then I'll put some more foam in the stern. Okay, that's the zone waterline.